Hi all, it's Karen from the Transformation Mom for A, B, C, D, E, and today we're going to start digging into some of the pages for this December Daily. Like I said, I like to try to keep the actual pages of my December Daily kind of plain, and then I like to make something sturdy to actually put on the page. So my idea for that was this pop-up page. So you can see that when you open it up, your pictures pop up. So this is going to be one idea. So this would actually just get you know, stuck right down onto the page, and then this would open up. Or you could actually embellish the back side of it. This now is upside down, but you could embellish the back side of it like I did this one, and you could use it for a, like throw it in a pocket or in a belly band or something on a page. So there's kind of what we're gonna do today. So what we're gonna start out with is, we are going to start out with one of these red file folders. And I'm going to see if I can move this without causing all kinds of problems. So this is my big Carl. You're not going to be able to see all of it. Um, this is the DC220N. It is a 15 by 12 Carl cutter. And what I like to do first is we need to cut this file folder in half. That's the first thing I usually do. And then the first thing that we need is, so this side we can get eight off of with the tab over here. So we're going to cut it down to eight. And then <clears throat> we need an eight by four piece. And this side has this little notch in it, so I'm going to stay away from that for right now. So eight by four. There's that part. And then we need an 11 by four and a quarter. So we're gonna do four and a quarter first. And we're gonna do that by 11. So there is those two pieces. Now, that gives us this outer part. So this red part's this part. And this is the mechanism that you can't see inside. So I'm going to move my trimmer and I am going to grab my thing. I was making envelopes just a little while ago, so I still have the envelope thing out. My nice Martha Stewart scoreboard. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to score this long ways at five and a half. And this is eight by four. So you want to get the short end. At two. Okay. So that this is actually the mechanism. I was incorrect before with what I said. So now Grab my Tim Holtz roller, and what you do is you make a mark at two inches from each corner. Okay, so now we have our two inches from each corner. And now 
we'll get our scoreboard back out. Now you can see that I drew a blue line in one line so that I can line these up easier. So you're gonna line up that diagonal corners, kind of. So that little mark with that little mark, and you're gonna draw a line. And you're gonna flip it over, and you're gonna go diagonal again. Okay, so now you should have a, you know, a line down the middle and this cross. So now, here comes the fun part. So you want to kind of fold it this way, and you want to fold your diagonals. Okay. And what you're going to try to do is fold this into, it's going to kind of look like an arrow. So this, see how this pops up now? And this is going to pop up Let me grab my bone folder out of my bin here, bin of tricks. And so it kind of looks like an arrow now. So that's going to be the piece that's down in here that makes this thing pop up. So there is that piece. And there is this piece. Now, what we're going to try to do is cover, I'm going to cover all four sides with pattern paper. And I kept debating what to do with this. I kept trying different things. I was thinking, you know, oh, I could put something like this down here. And I, you know, I just, if you would have seen what I was thinking. So the first thing that I thought is no matter what, I want the Santa on the front. So let me get back out my cutter. And this is the size of a standard card. So this is five and a half by four and a quarter. So you're gonna cut your paper. I usually do four by five and a quarter. So I'm gonna cut off a straight edge here first. And I'll come up here so you can see. There's my four. And then this should be just about four because I cut off that little edge. Yep. And then we're going to do this five and a quarter. And I'm going to use this for the back side because nobody's going to really see it. So even if it's a little short, it's not going to look real silly. So there's our two front and back sides, and I'm going to set those aside. And then these were the actual end papers from what, the, the book. So again, I'm trying to do this so that you could see you can use everything from the dollar store to do this. So here's your four, five, five and a quarter. those scraps aside. So, that is our inside and outside. So, like I said, I really want the sienna for the front. So we're going to go like a so. And put the Santa with the ATG on the front here. I'm going to put the mouse on the back. Again, it's going to be a little less wide than it should be, but it shouldn't matter.
see one now. And then we're going to put the green paper on the inside. Of stickiness here and I got myself all gummed up. That happens every once in a while. Especially I noticed this isn't the Scotch brand that I had in here. I had bought some from Tape Depot and I will never make that mistake again. I will buy the Scotch brand. I will swear by it till the day I die because I do not like the cheap stuff. It does not come out well. Okay. So now the next thing that you're gonna do is you need to get a roller and the, way I, the reason I like the Tim Holtz one is you can use the zero and again this is four and a quarter so it should be two and an eighth should be the center and you're gonna mark right in the center here okay and you're gonna make sure that your images are the correct way I've done that before too so and we're gonna actually install our mechanism in here so what you want to do is this point needs to line up with that and then this, these two sides should line up. I am going to use my art glitter glue for this just because it's sitting on my desk. So I'm just gonna, I don't have my fine tip on it. But we'll just spread some on there. And make sure you have a, enough because it's gonna, I mean this is gonna be the thing that's gonna hold down your you know, this is the mechanism for this piece of the thing. And again, you just line up the thing. Now, one of the things that you want to make sure is that when you close this, that it closes nicely. So you don't, you know, you don't want that flap sticking up too much. And then I'm going to just, we're going to glue the other side too. Okay, so and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this this part aside so that that really really adheres for a few minutes. And while that's set aside, we can do the next part. So now we have these two pieces left of that folder. And I'll get my handy dandy cutter back out. And what I'm going to try to see is I think I should have enough to do 10 by 4 on this one. I think this one's like 8. Yeah, it's probably about 8 by 8. So we're going to go 4 on this. And do 10 on this side. And again, I'm saving all my scraps because you'll never know what we can use it for. So now we have a 10 by 4 piece of paper. Gotta get my scoreboard back out. And we are going to score this 10 by 4 piece on the long edge because again, we're making these four panels. We are going to score it at two and a half five and seven and a half and you kind of want it to look like a W that's kind of the shape you're gonna go for you might call it an accordion I call it a W <coughs> now I'm throwing my bone for Sorry about that. Now we're going to set this aside and we're going to try to get some. Ch I figured I would use this wrapping paper because I have it. And we are going to cut. We need 2.25 because that was 2.5. I don't 
like that side. I think I'm actually going to try to get the panels in now that I look at it. So it's going to be two and a quarter here. So what I'm going to do is actually, I think I'm going to, since I know I'm cutting off both sides, I'm going to try to get this side even. And then come back over with a straight edge. You can see that I do a lot of finagling like this because I, I like, I'm an engineer. I think I've said that before. And so there's sometimes where I get stuck on the way things look. So there, I kind of like that. Okay. And we're going to go 3.75. We're going to do another 3.75. Three point seven five. I'm so used to having that thing at the top because I'm cutting backwards from the way that I normally do. Okay, again, we're gonna do get this to two and a quarter, and we need another three point seven five. Now, these four pieces are going to go on that. So, uh, and I'm just going to alternate them because they're just about the same. They're kind of cool. I didn't plan it that way. Let me tell you that. I didn't plan it that way. But it ended up that way. Okie dokie. So there are those four pieces. Okay, so now we have this to there. So now we're going to attach. <clears throat> so this should be nice and dry when I open it up. Ooh, see? So now you're going to lay your card flat. And this, you, you need to line up the middle of this with the middle of that. Okay? And what you're going to do, as long as this is on the middle, and this should all line up, you're going to get your glue, and you're going to put it right here on this top. You're going to make like a little square right here. Oop, I got glue all over my mat. See, I told you I'm a messy crafter. This is just an old towel that I have that I keep on hand because I do usually make a mess. So now that's on the top right hand corner. And you're going to push it down. 
I'm gonna clean the glue off my edges here so that it doesn't okay then now we've got the top this top right you're gonna do the same thing over here and you go on the bottom Now we're going to let that dry for a few minutes. And when it dries, it will open exactly like this one. So I hope you enjoyed this craft with me of a pop-up um, page. I'm hoping to do a few more of these this week. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's Kara from Transformation Mom for ABCD. Have a great day.